The Grenada Association of Professional Social Workers, Friends of the Mentally Ill, the Grenada National Council of the Disabled and IGA Supermarket has collaborated to put smiles on the faces of persons with disabilities throughout the parish of St. George. In celebrating the month of May as Disability Awareness Month, the organizations distributed lunch to persons with all form of disability in Grand Anse and the town of St. George. Anne Graves, Vice President of the Grenada Association of Professional Social Workers, spoke about the initiative. May is designated as the month of the disabled, and so we are marking the, the month with this event. Today's event is we are, it's a luncheon, and so we have been we'll, we are delivering food to those who are disabled um, in the community. Um, we know this is a very difficult time, so what we've had, we've had caregivers coming in and picking up food, and some of our colleagues will be delivering a different point in St. George's. Yeah, so it is to raise awareness about um, the plight of the disabled people in our community, or in our nation. Graves said the initiative is one of many to come. Certainly, this is just the beginning of an initiative where we're providing lunch. We are actually hoping to continue this, um, taking it from to other parishes. As long as we can get other people to collaborate with us and as long as we can get the food and people, yes, there are always people um, desperate for, for uh, a meal, yes. Camilla Brown, marketing personnel at IGA, says they are happy to partner with the NGOs to give back to the community. We do have a relationship with um, uh, Ms. Greaves and the Social Workers Association. So when she offered us to come in on board with us, we of course said yes. Um, so here we are. <laughs> We're helping as much as we can and hopefully the relationship will continue and we'll be able to do more for the community because that's part of our motto is um, community service development and, and things like that. For GBN News, I am Rena Pett Thomas reporting.